All right. I'm going to show you how we go about drawing faces um, on the side. Okay. And I'll try to explain while I'm uh, doing the process. So I draw my shape. Draw the front of the face. Um, the side of the head is going to be like an oval shape. Um, and if it's from the top, if you're looking down from on top of the head, it's going to look like an egg. Like the front of the square head comes a little narrow uh, than, the, than the back of the head. Okay. So. And I'm just using an HB pencil. Where is it? Okay. Um, let's see. Where is it somewhere around here? I draw the chin, go straight up to the to the jawline. The ears somewhere right here, towards the. It's going to be a little bit past the middle, uh, middle of the head. Um, but the jawline will come right down where the ear loop is. Okay, um, right where the ear starts to curve, uh, right across, it's going to be where the eyes are going to be. The corner of the eye should meet right where the ear starts to curve, right? And you're drawing the side of the eye, so the eye's going to be uh, half the size of what you see, you know, compared to seeing it from the front, right? Here's the eye. Um, it's gonna probably gonna be like half that size, okay? Just like that. So, so I got half the half the eye. Start doing the forehead. Uh, come on down from the eyebrow bone to the nose. I used to draw the nose way too long uh, when I started doing this, like doing semi-realism. So I had to draw the shapes of the nose um, just so I can stay proportionate of the face and depending on what kind of nose I was drawing. And then I draw a circle um, just so I know where the, where the nostrils were going to be. Okay. smaller. It's getting congested there, so. And then start doing the lips and the chin. The position of the chin in the mouth and the nose. All this is gonna vary depending on what type of person features they have, you know, in their face. Um, but when you're doing the face, um, the forehead, nose, lips, and chin, think of it as like stairs, okay? Um, you have the forehead, you have the nose, you have the lips, right? and the chin. So think of it as like that when you're doing this. That way you're not going too far out or too far too far in or too caved in, you know? But some people have these features, so you want to keep that in mind, um, of the bigger scope, you know, of the form of that whole, whole face from top to bottom is going to be Draw the eyebrows. It's not going to be that long since you're looking at it from the side view, so things are going to be a little bit distorted, right? And then overlapping the lines. 
Oh, wait, you can show the folding of the, the eyelid? Okay. I like to draw a little bit of the corner of the mouth. I'll show a little bit of some depth. I like to look at uh, um, pictures of celebrities like Kira Knightley, Olivia Wilde, and uh, I like to use their facial features uh, just so I can uh, get some reference of you know some uh, pretty women and stuff like that. The ears are going to be pretty difficult. Um, you have to actually see how um, everyone's ear is going to be a little bit, a little bit different. The ear lobes might be a little bit, you know, longer, um, especially if they have ear, ear piercings and stuff like that. So, engages. Um, as far as hair, you also want to see it as uh, some sort of a mass shape, okay? Uh, some eyebrows here. No, we'll do some bangs. We'll do some bangs here. And Maybe she's got a ponytail. So, so what I'm doing here is I'm moving the lines in the direction of, okay, say, say there's like a, a sphere, right? And you want to draw lines going across it um, to show that there's to show that it's, uh, you know, a piece of mass. That's essentially what you're doing with the hair. You're going in the form of the direction of where it's going, uh, of that mass, of that, of that volume, okay? And it's being pulled back, so the lines have to go to where the, the lines are being, where that, uh, Hair's being pulled. Same with like pulling a shirt, uh, creasing the pants. You want to go in the direction of where those wrinkles are going and where it's being pulled. So she's got that hippie Austin Knight bangs. Um, I don't put in the values just yet until I find out where that lighting is going to be hitting. Um, you know the direction of the lighting so say if it's coming right here um, you want to start blocking out those uh, uh, those shapes of the shadows okay and then say the nose is It'd be pretty, pretty cool because the the nose also has like this, you know, there's the nostrils right here. Um, it's it's a look, it's like a little ball right here. You want to shade that in, kind of like a real sphere, right? If you were to do some shading right in the middle, show some bounce light on the bottom. And then the lighting on top, everything would be, the shading would be in the middle. So, that, so that's essentially what it's doing right here with the nose. You want know, to show some bounce light going from the bottom. Um, when you're doing like the crease on the mouth and stuff like that, you want to be careful with that. that it, Because it, it will show like it, that person's kind of old. But there's a way you can, um, 
you know, if it's emphasized on a younger younger person, then I would just uh, shade it in a little bit, show a little bit of uh, you know some some tissue mass. Okay, show some of those cheekbones. You just want to emphasize lightly, uh, and then go heavy depending on, you know, how old this person is and how hard the lighting is hitting. Um, this, is, this is how I go about it. Okay. And then there's shadow. Pay attention to the muscles. Okay, where those muscles are going. We'll give her, we'll give her a colored shirt. Yeah, for now. You also don't want to show that, you know, the color shirt is a, a flat rectangle. Give it some sort of a, sort of a quarter turn angle, you know. And then I put this darker under the color rather than this because this is uh, further back. And this is lighter. I mean, this is this is up front, so you don't want these competing with each other and um, showing the same contrast. Uh, this could be vice versa too. This, this maybe this should be darker, yeah, because it's further away. Things further away will get a lighter in contrast. So, so that's okay. Okay, so um, let's see, I think that's about it. Yep, let me know what you think.